Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, I'm probably I'm not in my house. I am still in Florida, still in Orlando. I'm currently in our resort hotel, Disney's Coronado Springs. Um, this is where we stay in. This is where we've been for almost two weeks. I'm filming this on the... of November we leave here on the 16th so we've been here quite a while and basically what I thought is I'd film a little haul video um, just because basically when I get home I'll be seeing friends family and things and I'll be giving them everything that I've bought so I thought if I show you guys before I cut all the labels off give them all as gifts and they'll have them they'll have their presents and things and gifts after no before they see this so it won't like ruin the surprise or anything like that so this is literally i'm surrounded by stuff on the floor here so first i have this this is a gift for a friend um the light keeps changing anyway so it's this nice Seven Dwarfs t-shirt, the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Um, it's got five dwarfs on the front and then two on the back. <clears throat> and this was from Uniqlo in Disney Springs. And it, this is, all these prices are before tax. Uh, this was $14.90. So like I said, this is a present for a, a friend. Okay, so these, <clears throat> I've got now our gifts for my parents. Um, I picked up some Mickey, Mickey's morning roast coffee, um, which is quite cute. This I think this was hasn't got a price on it, but I think it was twelve twelve ninety nine. I think. I think. Which is quite nice. And this is. 340 grams, so it should last a decent amount of time. And I got my dad a Darth Vader, um, Darth Vader aerial topper, you call them? Aerial topper. And also picked up some of these, I don't know what they're called. Metal Earth 3D model kits. I got two. I got one Rebel U Wing fighter and a TIE striker. These are for my dad because he will probably like to do them. He might do, I don't know. Let's see. Okay. Next up, I have my Mickey Mouse hat. I bought this. I basically have. It was, on the first few days, it was so hot here, like really humid. The sun, it was like 30, 30 degrees, something like that. And the sun was boiling, absolutely boiling. And I thought my face is gonna get burnt. So I thought I needed a hat and I couldn't find one that I really liked. So I decided to have picked this up from Hollywood Studios. I can't remember which shop it was. No, I can't remember which shop it was. But this was, $25, I think. The tag's off it now because I've worn it. But I think it's really cute. I love this. Obviously, I'm not going to wear it at home because I think people will look at me funny if I walked around with a hat like this. I picked up this luggage tag today that I've actually taken, I've literally just taken the price off it this morning. And I can't remember for the life of me how much it was. So it's from the Finding Nemo one. I want to say $6.95, I don't know where the receipt is, yeah, so I thought it was quite cute. They had this one, they had a mini bow and a Coronado Springs resort one as well. But I thought I'd go with this one. So that's mine, that's for me, mine. So we went to the Disney outlets on Vineland <clears throat> first and um, we weren't that impressed to be honest, they didn't have a great deal of stuff. Um, all the t-shirts they had were like massive sizes like 
XXL or triple XL. Um, a couple of large or like extra small and things like that. So they were quite. They were okay. And if you if they had like your size or like a medium or anything like that, they were all in like a white like a white t-shirt, which I don't wear white t-shirts, or they were like not very nice colours, to me anyway. So <clears throat> I thought I'd pick this up for my sister. I didn't think she'd like it, um, but she does know about it because I messaged, well I should, video called her and shown her and she says the colour's actually okay, but when she sees it in person she might change her mind. So this was $5.99 in the premium outlet malls and it's just a standard old Disney World t-shirt and it's probably too big for her but she can wear it um, to bed because she probably will wear this to bed. So next up I'm going to get some Sephora. All this in here is what I got for my mum <clears throat> um, from Sephora. Minus two things actually, just realised. I got my mum uh, the Ho Ho O antibacterial hand gel and the Magic in the Air fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works. Anyway, moving on to Sephora. Uh, my mum has really, really sensitive skin, like really sensitive skin, she's allergic to a lot of things and one of the products that she can use is Clinique. So her birthday is near Christmas, her birthday is the 20th of December, um, so I thought I'd just go all out basically. Also another thing, my mum is very scared of trying new things just in case she flares up because when she flares up she flares up like she can hardly see out of her eyes but um, Clinique works for her so I picked up a pack of three little testers for $12 just so she can test out some new things and that way she's not got like a full bottle to use if it doesn't suit her skin or something like that. Uh, so in this you get a liquid facial soap, a clarifying lotion, um, it's a twice a day exfoliator and a moisturising gel. I'm sure she has tried a f one of these before um, and she's probably got one of these in a big bottle. But again, it's handy for it to take if she goes away because they're little travel sizes. Um, I also picked up some uh, Pep Star Hydro Rush Moisturiser Broad Spectrum S with SPS, SPF 20. So this is just another little moisturiser. Like I said, that was $12. <sighs> um, there's, there is one thing that I know that she uses. Um, and I'm sure she has used this before and that's why I got her a big bottle of it. And it's the Clinique Redness Solutions. Because my mum also, like I do, um, suffers from rosacea and I think that's where I've got it from. So I think this might come in handy for her and probably myself, but obviously it's for my mum. I get really, really red skin that you'll notice on some of the, the Florida vlogs when I'm not wearing makeup. I get it all here and here, up here and down here. Um, it's rosacea, I went to the doctors, there's nothing they can do apparently, it's just the way I am. Some days it's really really bad, some days it's okay. I just have to be careful sometimes what I do put on my face because I get lumps and bumps and really really itches. The doctors can't do anything for me. Presents for my best friends. Uh, these are Christmas presents. So most of these are Christmas presents and some of them are just general presents I got from Florida. The one thing that they asked me to bring back with me for them was saltwater taffy. 
and I think, as far as I know, they only wanted the original taffy, like not any other things. So I got myself, I got the Goofy and Co sour ones, which I'll show you. These ones, which I've hardly eaten. But I think they wanted the original ones. These aren't very sour, but. And these were. There's, there was a price on them. I'm sure they were like 6 99 I got in like within like the first day. Anyway, so I asked the woman in the Goofy and Co shop in Disney Springs if they had any, and she said that they had sold out. And if they had sold out in the Goofy and Co, they're more likely sold out in the rest of the Disney World because Goofy and Co were the first place to get them if they come in. So I was like, oh. so I messaged my friends and I said, look, I can't get you taffy, and they were gutted. But then I went to, they weren't bothered what taffy it was, whether it was Disney or just standard. Um, so then I went to Universal and I found in Sugar Plum Sweet Shop in, where were we? Universal? Um, what part is that? What part is that? Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley. I found some boxes of saltwater taffy in assorted flavours. Um, so they were very, very happy with this. It comes in banana, blue raspberry, cherry vanilla, chocolate, cotton candy, grape, key lime, Neapolitan, orange cream, and peppermint. And these were $6.95. And my friend Lauren, um, is a massive Harry Potter fan, a huge Harry Potter fan. So she was over the moon when I told her that I'd got her taffy. And I've got one for Laura too. From Honey Dukes, I got one each. I got them some sugar crystals, which I think look really, really cool. I wouldn't want to eat these, but they're from Honey Dukes. Lauren wanted me to get us something from Honey Dukes. And these are 2 95 each. I got some from Bath and Body Works. I got one of these each for them. These were on the 4 for 20, I believe. 4 for 20 dollars. This is the, I got them both the same one on this one. The Winter Candy Apple um, Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. So it looks quite nice. And these are individually priced at $6.50, but they were on 4 for 20. The nice um, hand sanitizer and the this is for Lauren this is like this is Lauren's it's called resting Grinch face because that is Lauren 100% so at the moment Disney World have a probably just seen it Disney World have an offer on at the moment and I know that they have it on they've had it on for quite a while but basically, if you spend over $40, you get a backpack for $19.95, I think it is. So today, I spent quite a bit of money and I picked up this backpack for $19.50. I don't actually know how much it's meant to be. I think it's maybe about 40, something like that. But it is huge, like it's massive. It'd be so handy to be a park bag. So it falls out and it's got like loads of pockets on it. It's huge. It's got side pockets so you can put your drinks. Um, really, really handy. So I can't wait to start using this. So in Uniqlo in Disney Springs, they have loads and loads of Disney like clothing. And some of it is brilliant. I got, I picked up two t-shirts. One of them I've already worn and I think is in the wash bag. Um, is a Mickey Mouse pizza t-shirt. I guess you could say. Some of you have probably seen it. You might have seen it in some of the vlogs. Um, but basically you've got the pizza slice, pepperoni on it. 
And then for the crust, it's like goes round. It's like for Mickey's ears, which is pretty cool, I think. Um, <clears throat> it's I wore it to Magic Kingdom one day last week. No, not last week. A couple of days. I don't know. But anyway, <clears throat> they had loads of things like Mr. Potato Head, um, loads of different ones. I also picked up this one because I love Toy Story, um, which was 14.90 again. The Army Men, and it says plastic platoon on it. I think it's brilliant. I love it. Oh, here's the um, the grey. Walt Disney World t-shirt that I told you about. It's pretty much the same, just says Walt Disney World here with Mickey Mouse. And it's great. So I'll be able to wear that one out because it actually fits me, instead of being too big. So for a while, I've wanted this jumper. Um, since I saw it on Instagram, and all the pictures everywhere on YouTube. Um, <clears throat> and it's basically, you will know this jumper if you, or a Disney fan. Um, the only the hard decision I had to make was what colour to get it in. And I thought oh, I'll just get it in black. And then I thought I get I wear black everything. And I thought oh, I'd get a bit of colour. So I decided to go with the green. I call it green. But I decided to get this, which I absolutely love. Um, it's my fave. I've only worn it once because we went to um, Magic Kingdom last night and we stayed till 2am and it was a bit chilly. It wasn't like freezing. But it is the Walt Disney World jumper. This was $60 I believe. I think. $59.99. I think. But I do love it. I can't wait to wear it back home either. I'm totally wearing this on the plane on the way home. Also, from Prima Mallet Malls, I bought this Mr. Potato Head tote bag, which I think is beautiful. It was $9.99 from $24.99. I think it's lovely. It's quite big inside. There's a pocket with a zip. I think it's good going. <clears throat> um, today I picked up the 2018 16 month Walt Disney World calendar. I haven't opened it yet but you can sort of see on the back some of the pictures that they've got. Um, this is one of the things that I did want to buy when I was over here. Purely because come January or come next month I will have the Disney Blues. And I will want to book it again. <clears throat> One of the things that I haven't bought yet, which I'm going to buy tomorrow because we're going to Hollywood Studios tomorrow, um, is a Sorcerer Mickey plush. Um, I have wanted one of these for so long because I've got hiccups. Basically, because Sorcerer Mickey is my favourite Mickey. Everyone has their different favourites, you know. But Sorcerer Mickey is mine, and. Sorcerer, he's been my favourite Mickey since the first time I saw Fantasmic in 2003. Um, I just think he's brilliant. I'm hoping that I get to meet Sorcerer Mickey tomorrow at Hollywood Studios um, because the last two times the queue has just been horrendous. So we've not bothered or we just haven't had time because of a, another Fast Pass or a Dana reservation. I'm hoping tomorrow we've got a couple of hours there. I want to do Tower of Terror again and meet Sorcerer Mickey. But also I said, you know, we've been to Disneyland Paris twice since I've been with Jay. Um, and there's always been a Sorcerer Mickey there. But I always say to myself, no, I'm going to buy it from Hollywood Studios because that is where I first fell in love with Sorcerer Mickey. So tomorrow I'm going to buy Sauce for Mickey. I also picked up today. Oh, actually I've just realised 
have, I bought this from Walmart the other day. And I've needed one of the, I'm probably thinking what the hell is that? I've needed one of these for so long, but I haven't seen one, or I've just really not thought of looking for one. Not a Mickey one in particular, but just a standard one. And it's basically a spoon rest. I think it's brilliant. Um, because we need one in our kitchen. Um, and I finally got one, and it couldn't be better because it's Mickey shaped. I also picked up, oh, this was 9 99 from Walmart. I also picked up um, a Mickey oven glove. Gotta have it. Just want to keep it away from Lilo because she will chew it. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I'm going to have to hang it up really high on the cupboards and just remind Jade not to leave it around. But this was $12.99 and I got this. You can get this from most places, but I got this from our resort um, shop. So, when we went to premium out the walls, I found some of the uh, Disney trash cans, and I think they're brilliant. <laughs> I love them. This is the one for Adventureland. Um, trash can tree decorations. I don't know how much these are actually in the park. Oh, they're $19.95 in the park. I got this. Got a love red tag. For $1.99. Can't get better than that. So this is the Adventureland one. I also got the uh, Frontierland. So on this one, it's got the Big Thunder Mountain, um, the railroad, and Tom Sawyer's Island on this one. Which is really cute. Is the um, Fantasyland. I don't know if it's the new Fantasyland or just normal Fantasyland. I'm sure, it's new. it looks like new Fantasyland. But I'm not too sure. This one. One ninety nine. And finally, the Tomorrowland trash can, which I think is really cool. So I'm really happy with these. I also picked up another tree decoration. Oh, he's sellotaped it. Um, because basically obviously I want to come to Disney more often now well not even more often but more and um, I thought I would start collecting like any of the resorts that we've gone to um, or gonna go to in the future I thought I would collect a pin and the tree ornament that they have so this was, this wasn't from the premium Island Malls, this was from the resort shop and it was $14.95 which is quite steep but worth it. And this is the Coronado Springs tree decoration which is pretty amazing. I do like it, it'd be nice on my tree. When we get, well. I told Jade today that I was going to put the tree up when we get home, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, what's in here? Oh! I also bought myself from... Um, Diagon Alley a chocolate frog. I know these aren't worth ten ninety five like they are priced, but you've got to get one. And I remember I got one years and years and years and years and years and years and years ago before all that uh, Harry, Wizarding World of Harry Potter existed. I remember that when Harry Potter came out um, in the UK, they had these um, because my auntie bought me one and I remember it. It was quite similar to this, but I don't know how much she paid for it. 
but it was before like anything Harry Potter was around. It was just when the films got released and the books got released. Okay, so something that didn't cost anything. Um, basically when you buy a drink or get a drink from your magic band, from your, like, your snack credits, you, especially slushies, you get given Mickey straws. I think we've got quite a few of these now, I think. I think Jay actually threw one away by accident, which I shouted at him for. But um, basically, yeah, you get free Mickey straws, which are quite cool. And they clean quite easily as well, which are free. So that's one free thing. Jay also on this trip got his first visit badge. I didn't get a first visit badge when I first came in 99M because I don't think they did them. So, but I didn't want to get one this time, obviously, because it's not my first visit. Um, so, yeah, I made sure that Jay got did get his badge because it's it's a special thing to get for your first visit to Walt Disney World. As you guys know, we have we me and Jay have our we have a little dog at home who we miss very very much. Um, she's a little beagle, and well, I say little, she's not little. And she's called Lilo, um, obviously named after Lilo and Stitch. Um, and we couldn't come to Disney and not get her anything. We did go to Walmart and have a look at all the dog toys, but most of the stuff she would have gone through. She's she's almost two, and her teeth are so strong. She's so strong, and she chews through anything. Anything that she can get hands on, she will chew through. Remote controls in the house, anything. So. We've been wanting to get her a toy, but we've not actually managed to find her something that is suitable for her over here just yet. Um, she loves toys like, like flimsy, I want to say like soft toys, like plushes. Um, but I don't want to spend, like I've, I've seen a few in like in Walmart and stuff, but they were like $7.99, $8.99. And as much as I love her, I don't want to spend that much on a toy for her that she will that will last five minutes. And um, when I get her toys like that, it's usually ones from like Home Bargains or B and M that are like really cheap, like one ninety nine. That will keep her occupied for an, an hour or so because they literally will because the area that she's in will be covered in fluff without a doubt. And so, um, the Disney toys that they had for dogs, like the Mickey Waffle and the Turkey leg are just too too easy for her to break through and they're so expensive they're about I think they're about 13 14 dollars and just too expensive so the one thing that we did buy lilo and we did think about getting her a collar i think i did explain actually in one of the blogs and um, we did think about getting her a collar but the collar that she's actually got now i only bought a few months ago and it wasn't a cheap one so we thought, and it's purple, so we thought we'll get her a new lead. I know she's the lead that she has got is new as well. I mean, we got that when we first got her in March, so it's not exactly old. But we thought we'd get her, a, we have to get her something. So we thought we would get her a Disney Tales Mickey lead, which is purple, so it does go with her collar. And this was this was fourteen ninety nine by itself. I mean, the lead that she's got at home actually wasn't far off this price, I don't think. So it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I think it's really cute. Um, I also picked up a two thousand and seventeen Mickey Sorcerer's Hat aerial topper for myself and a Buzz Lightyear one too. These were on three for something. I can't remember what, but they were on three for something. I got this, this, and the Darth Vader one for my dad. I'm also a big pin collector, and this holiday I have quite a lot of pins. I've purchased a lot of pins. Um, I've got loads at home from Disneyland Paris. Um, I also bought a new lanyard, which I got the Toy Story one, which you can't really see because it's covered with pins. Um, so I've got some mystery ones where you got three in a pack. So we got this one, which we're not too quite sure what it is. 
We got Doug from up uh, Rapunzel. Lightning McQueen. Oh, these three. These three. We got given by the resort. Um, oh, Donald's upside down. We got given by the resort for free. And um, when we checked in, um, obviously we knew there was um, construction work going on at this resort. But when we come into our room, there was like a little piece of card with these three stuck on it saying, excuse our mess. Um, and they're little like construction worker pins, which are quite cute. Um, I also got this one from Premium Outlet Malls and it's just a Star Wars A New Hope Tatooine pin. Um, I got the Walt Disney World one and the Walt Disney World Sorcerer Mickey 2017. And then on the other side I've got the Coronado Springs Resort pin. Oh, a back's just come off one. Coronado Springs, Epcot, Animal Kingdom, Fantasmic. This is my new favourite one. This is a suitcase with all six Disney resorts around the world. The Hollywood Studios, the O Pascal from a mystery pack, and a Woody. So these are the pins I've got so far. I come on this holiday petrified of one ride. And anyone who's seen our other vlogs will know that I am petrified of this one ride. And this ride is the Hollywood Tower of Terror. This holiday, I have fell in love with that ride. It has become my favorite ride, I think. Maybe, maybe not in the whole of Disney, but one of my favourite rides. So to mark the fact that I actually like Tower of Terror now instead of being scared of it, Jay decided to buy, and this is going to go on like display in our display cabinet in our dining room, the Bellhop Tower of Terror hat, which is pretty awesome I think. I had to persuade him to get it and he was a bit hesitant whether to get it or not but I think it's awesome. This was $21.95 from the Tower of Terror shop when you come off the ride. And I do love it. The Hollywood Tower of Terror do not disturb sign. This was $6.95 as well, which will go on the door handle of our display cabinet. I also picked up some um, things that I've wanted for a while as well, some more things that I've wanted for a while, which are some magnets for our fridge. I've wanted these magnets for a while. These were $12.99 and I can't remember where I got them from. Magic Kingdom, I think. Now, I think this is last but not least out of everything I've bought so far. Um, I, before I come on the trip, I wanted some all of our photos in. So I knew that I wanted to get a photo album from Disney World. So I decided to go with the Walt Disney World Memories photo album. 